Hi everyone. Today we're going to install Comfy UI on a Mac computer. The Comfy UI is a very popular project to let you generate images using stable diffusion models. It uses node graph structure to create a workflow, so it's very flexible and you can customize pretty easily without writing the Python code directly. There are also many workflows that people share. So if you don't know how to create these nodes, you can simply just download the workflows that other people have created. To install, you'll need to use some terminal commands. So if you are not familiar with the terminal, it can be a little confusing. So that's what I want to cover in this video. So I'm on their GitHub repo. And if you scroll down a little bit, there is a link to the installation instructions. If you're using Windows, it's pretty simple, but because we are using a Mac, it's a bit different process. So let's scroll down until you see the instruction for Apple Mac Silicon. I'm using M1 MacBook Pro, but you can use other types of Macs, say if you're using M1 or M2. There are mainly four steps involved. First, you'll need to install PyTorch nightly version. So the PyTorch is very popular Python machine learning framework, which Comfy UI is relying on. To use Mac GPU so that we can speed up the generation time, you cannot just install regular version of the PyTorch. You'll have to use nightly version. So there is an instruction on how to install it, which we'll look at a little later. So once you have the PyTorch install and be ready to use, you're going to have the install Comfy UI, and then you're going to have to install Comfy UI dependencies, and then we can run and use the Comfy UI. So let's start with the step number one, install PyTorch nightly. As I said, PyTorch is a Python framework. So you'll need to have the Python installed on your Mac. When you install a Python, I highly suggest that you use a virtual environment because many different machine learning products use different versions of Python and different versions of their own dependencies. If you only have a single Python install, things can get pretty ugly pretty soon. So when you use a virtual Python environment, it becomes a lot easier to manage different projects. So I'll be using Conda. And more specifically, I'll be using Miniconda. You can just search install Miniconda and you'll be directed to this page. And they do have a graphical installator file for macOS. You just have to simply download PKG installer and go through the installation just like any other regular software. To save time, I won't go over installing Miniconda. And I do have the Conda already installed on my machine. To check if you have Conda installed properly, simply just type Conda dash dash version. So I'm using 24.5.0 version. If you have earlier versions of Conda, it might be a good idea to first update the Conda version. To do that, you can type in Conda update dash dash all. Now it's time to create a new Conda virtual environment so that we can use it with our Comfy UI installation. To create a new environment, type this command, conda create. And then we'll write a name for this environment, which I will just call it comfy. And then you can specify which Python version you want to use with this environment. So here I will use 3.11. The latest Python version is 3.12. But when I visited the PyTorch website, they were recommending 3.11, so that's what I'll be using. But if you're watching this video maybe a few months from now, 3.12 might be a better option. Execute this command. We'll simply proceed with Y key. And the new environment is now created. To activate this environment, type this command, conda activate and the name of your environment, which in my case is comfy. Conda activate comfy. But before I hit the return key, I want to show you this um, terminal prompt. My prompt may look a little different from yours because I'm using oh my ZSH and custom theme, but you may see some information to the left of your um, prompt. So here I'm using the base environment. Then once I activate, you will see this will change. So 
Con dot activate comfy and now base has changed to comfy. So this way I know which environment I'm using at any given moment. So make sure you activate the newly created environment and also make sure that you know which one you are currently using. So let's check the Python version that we have installed with this environment. If you remember, I installed 3.11. So let's make sure that is the case. I'm going to type in Python dash dash version. And indeed, I'm using 3.11.9. Now that the Python environment is ready to use, let's go back to our Comfy UI installation instructions. So we'll now have to install PyTorch nightly version and Apple provides the guide for it. Let's open up the link. And there are a few requirements. You need to use Mac computer with Apple Silicon or with AMD GPUs. And you have to be using Mac OS 12.3 or later and Python 3.7 or later. And then lastly, you need to have Xcode command line tools. If you don't, you can install with this command. So I'm going to copy this command back to my terminal, paste it, and execute. In my case, I already have command line tools, but if not, I think you will see some pop-up window and just go through the installation. And the next step is number one setup. So this number one setup is just setting up Miniconda, which we already did, so we don't have to do it again. I'm just gonna skip this step. Moving on to two, install. So there are two different ways of installing PyTorch on your Mac. It is using Nightly version, but you can do it with Conda or you can do it with Pip. At the time of recording, I couldn't install PyTorch with this Conda command. Normally this should work, but for some reason I couldn't. So when I use Pip command instead, it worked fine. So I will suggest that you first try with this Conda command. But if you see some warning or error messages, then please try with pip again. I'm just going to copy this command back to my terminal and paste and return. It's going to take some time to download and install uh, several different packages. Installation is done. And the last step for PyTorch installation is to verify. You can verify MPS support using a simple Python script. This is to make sure that PyTorch can use your Mac GPU. I'm just going to copy this script. This is a Python script back to my terminal. And when you just use Python command and hit return key, then you can write Python code within the terminal. You see how the prompt has changed a little bit. I'm just going to paste what I've just copied, a few lines of Python code, and hit return key, actually twice. And this is the message that's now printed. So this is how you know that PyTorch has been installed properly. As it says here, the output should show tensor with device MPS. If there's something wrong with the installation, then you might see this message, MPS device not found. If that's the case, you're just going to have to dig a little bit deeper to some internet search, find a solution for that. PyTorch installation is ready, so I'm just going to close the tab. Let's move on to the next step. Follow the Comfy UI manual installation instructions for Windows and Linux. Let's click on it. First, git clone this repo. We're going to clone this repo and copy all the files of this repo and download it onto our computer so we can run Comfy UI locally. And to do that, find this green button where it says code, click on it. A few different ways of cloning the repo. If you have gh terminal command ready, then you can simply use this. If not, we'll use HTTPS. So I'm gonna copy the address of this GitHub repo by clicking on this button. It's copied and back to our terminal. If you're still within this Python, uh, we can quit by typing quit, open and close parentheses. Now we're back to the regular terminal. And before we clone, we need to first decide where we want to clone this repo to. Right now we are in the user home folder. You may want to clone it to the user home folder, or if you want to clone to the desktop, downloads folder, or documents folder, 
we will first have to navigate to that directory. In my case, I want to install a clone into my documents because that's where I keep all my machine learning uh, projects. In my documents folder, I have a folder called ML machine learning, and this is where I keep different machine learning projects. So this is where I want to clone the comfy UI repo. So let's change directory to documents slash ML. Change directory, CD from user home folder, documents slash ML. You see that the prompt has changed. Let's make sure, LS, list, and there we only have stable diffusion web UI folder present, just like how we can see it from the find window as well. So git clone and then paste. Oops, my clipboard has changed. Let's copy this address again. Git clone and conf UI location. And now it's cloned. When I do ls again, we see stable diffusion web UI as well as conf UI. So let's continue with our installation. The next step is to put your stable diffusion checkpoint file in models slash checkpoints folder. So the checkpoint is the model, the huge CKPT or save tensors file. This is something you're going to have to just download yourself. You can search on websites like huggingface.co and go to models and find stable diffusion models here, download it and move it to the correct folder. Or you can use websites like cbitai.com and they do have a bunch of models that you can download as well. So here I've downloaded Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, Save Tensors model, and move it into Comfy UI Models Checkpoints directory. And the next, put your VAE variational autoencoder file into models slash VAE folder. But this is optional. You don't have to do it, but if you want to use custom VAE model, you can do it as well. So that's the step number two. Number three, install the Comfy UI dependencies. Let's click on it. Install the dependencies by opening your terminal inside the Comfy UI folder and run this command. So here's an important thing. We are still in documents ML folder, but as it said in the instruction, we have to go into the Comfy UI and then run the command. I'm gonna change directory one more time. CD Comfy UI and list of files. Then there's requirements.txt file. So we're gonna install any dependencies that are listed in this file by running this command, pip install requirements.txt. Copy the command, paste it and run it. After that, you should have everything installed and can proceed to running Comfy UI. So to run, you simply execute this command, python main.py. So I'm gonna paste this command and return. It is now starting the server. To see the GUI, go to HTTP, and this address might be a little different, but you just have to simply copy this and visit that address. And now we can see our Comfy UI is running here. I'm just going to load default workflow just so I can test it quickly. And from load checkpoint node, you simply have to choose the one you have downloaded and move to the checkpoints folder. And then I won't touch anything here. I just want to make sure that it is running. I'm just going to leave it. And then you can generate an image by clicking on this button, Q prompt. And you will see by this green outline, it is executing different nodes through the graph. And in my case, after 15 seconds or so, we have this image generated. If you wanna quit, you can just simply close the terminal window or you can hit Command C to stop the server. And anytime you wanna run it again, you simply need to come to this Comfy UI folder in your terminal and run Python main.py command again. So this completes today's video. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.